Hello everyone and welcome to another game here on Metalopolis. Next Tasia spawning as the Red Terran player, TSL's symbol spawning as the blue Zerg, Zerg versus Terran. Game 3, not in a series, just a, just a series of games that I happen to come across. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I will make sure to update the names accordingly so that they are not a, a king of the hill. Anyways. TSL's symbol spawning as the blue Zerg at what I will call the 6 o'clock position. Meanwhile, Teja spawning as the red Terran player at the 12 o'clock position. Terran versus Zerg here on Metalopolis. Metalopolis, a map that generally favors Zerg. So we'll see how the Terran player responds and reacts. Now, Supply Depot being built on the front door. Very common strategy. And Symbol will quickly find out where his opponent is by process of elimination knowing that you cannot have close ally spawns here on this map. Now, drones just continuing to mine and we'll see if Symbol goes for an early spawning pool or an early hatchery. Because this is going to be early spawning pools, or sorry, um, cross spawns, he could in fact go for an early hatchery knowing that the units would take quite some time to get across the map. Now, it looks like he will not be building a hatchery just quite yet. He should be building a hatchery sometime soon. He is sitting at 15 over an 18 food now. And it looks like one drone is making its way down and will grow up to be a hatchery off over here in just a second as the strategies do get underway. Meanwhile, Terran player here, we will most likely be seeing the barracks be completed, a supply depot added starting of a factory adding on a reactor and then we'll see whether or not the terran player will be able to get off enough damage with those hellions drone now making its way in around gonna take a look around spot the gas and know that there is not any sort of crazy fast expansion coming in as we are now going into a tech lab all right this maneuver it, um, surprises me just a little we'll see if the scb yeah the scb oh could have gone on to the other side and now teja trying to utilize that scb on the far side and is able to do exactly that as we are now going into a reaper so an early reaper now coming in as a new scb comes over and tries to build this supply depot orbital command already um, already finished upgrading we can see that the hatchery down over here about 20 seconds away from being completed and we'll see whether or not this reaper harassment will be effective i have not seen a reaper expand in quite some time as the drones now head over to that extractor reap one reaper will go out into play it will be going up against some zerglings and perhaps some drones one reaper now deciding to reveal itself and gonna finish off that drone there as the reaper now moves across the map reaper with those double pistols able to deal a lot of damage to excuse me um to those light light units such as drones and zerglings the queen however is going to be a completely different story as we are now going to see six zerglings up against one reaper the reaper is going to jump up into a very very bad trap there jumping back down it does not want to be there at all apparently reapers do not like minx and minx will get taken down here down it goes just saying yeah i don't like this statue i will destroy it we are now transitioning into a lot more barracks so we see that we are also getting combat shield so it is going to be two reapers and combat shield on those marines so we're going to transition into mass marines and we'll see how effective these reapers are the reapers have a relatively short range 4.5 against a queen's three so that is a little bit longer but it's not really as effective and in order to try to kite those units as queens do move very very fast on creep now the reapers have to be careful doing a little bit of a dance there you can see that symbol could perhaps lay down a creep tumor and protect it with the queens to make sure that um, they have more room to maneuver as here we go another um, another game of chase as the queen does get in a little bit more damage the reapers however do not regenerate hit points this is not hard of the swarm and because of that they are not going to be really be able to deal that much damage here you can see the queen continuing to move back and forth and there we go that reaper just sitting there looking to perhaps constantly apply pressure as the reapers and the queens just still doing a little bit of that dance let's take a look back at the map over here you can see that the terran player is establishing up his natural expansion and already getting up his third command center so a quick double command center build against a zerg is very effective as he's going to be able to get up a lot of scvs really saturate these mineral lines and 
increase his worker production. So far, Symbol has not established up that third hatchery as of yet. It should be coming down soon, sometime around the eight minute mark. And most likely, Symbol does know that his opponent is trying to establish, oh, what's gonna happen here? Two creep tumors do go down at the cost of a Reaper. Was that worth it? As we now see the Reaper looking to perhaps back off again. It is down to 10 hit points, down to two. And now it looks like it will retreat and run all the way home. We are going into mass, mass Marines. Com or Stim now being added. And we'll see whether or not Symbol knows to go for perhaps a couple or a couple banelings. No banelings nest as of yet. We do see a macro hatch. And a macro hatch coming in from Symbol. Nothing too out of the ordinary. But I, would, I was surprised that the hatchery was not placed down here at the high ground expansion location. Um, yeah, at the high ground expansion location. We're going to see Marines... Double engineering bays now being established at the 8 minute mark. And perhaps we're going to get level 1 weapons and armor upgrades all at the same time. We can see that the factory is now being placed down. And still, Teja really not trying to do too much. He's just macroing up an army and running off of 3 orbital commands. His production um, uh, shows 41 SCVs, 42 SCVs against 55 drones. As we now see banelings being added. Now... Terran players normally do need siege tanks to battle up against those banelings and especially those roaches. Banelings need to get detonated well before they get, find or get close to those marines. Teja already getting level weapons, level one weapons and armor upgrades. We should see a swap on the starport with the factory. And then perhaps that factory will um, add on a tech lab in order to get some siege tanks. Now, the third hatchery has been established by Symbol. But Symbol still not really doing much inside his own base. He will be running off of four hatcheries. He is getting up a Spire, also getting Baneling movement speed, and a lot of Zerglings which morph into Banelings. But still haven't done much of anything else beyond that. We are going to get that armory down now to allow and unlock the level 2 weapons and armor upgrades on the engineering bay. Double training of Metavax. More Marines still being added, but both sides is playing a very, very strong game of Sim City, building up a lot of units and perhaps going to try and move out sometime soon. A symbol with those banelings. Banelings are not upgraded. Also, we see very, very good creep spread coming in from Symbol. So these creep tumors are going to spread out across the map and spread this creep very quickly. And if they're able to establish a very strong creep highway, it will slow down any attack as Terran players avoid fighting on creep if possible. Those banelings move so quickly on creep faster than a stim marine that there's not much you can really do. You can see that the marines are trying to clean up some of these creep tumors now. It looks like they will be able to clean up many of them. And now they are going to be forced to retreat as the Zerglings may perhaps try to go for a surround. This is not looking good. The Marines are, some of them are picked back up. And here we go. The Marines are going to go after some Banelings. The Zerglings are coming in around the corner as well. The Zerglings will be able to just surround those Marines. There you go. A couple Baneling splashes do go down as Symbol now at 102 supply. One burrowed Zergling, I believe. Um, nope. One Zergling just sitting underneath there normally preventing this Orbital Command from trying to land and also delaying this expansion a little bit further. Marines are holding one of the Zelnaga Towers. They should be able to perhaps move out as we now see Mutilus move in. Symbol looking to get in some easy hits here. Marines are nearby. No missile turrets. A bit of a surprise as missile turrets are much, are really effective against Mutilus, especially if they get the autosec tracking and the plus two um, Terran building armor. We can now see that we have Mutilus going in after the Marines. It looks as though um, a couple units were taken down there as the Mutilus are now backing off. But there is not enough units coming in from Symbol in order to really do any r true damage. Just perhaps poke here and there as level 2 weapons and armor upgrades come in. The Banelings have one, level 1 armor upgrades and that is it. So the Zerglings will take two shots in order to get killed as Teja now moving forward with only one siege tank. This is not an optimal, optimal army size. As Zerglings are now going to try to test that front door. There are siege tanks and marines off over here. What are going to happen here as the medevacs need to perhaps get back closer with these marines. The marines need to stim and yes, able to take down many of those Zerglings. Level 1 weapons and armor upgrades. 
uh, yeah, level one weapons and armor upgrades now retreating all the way back. We can see that the hatchery is down here. The hatchery is at half or halfway to being completed as the mutilists are looking for an opportunity to attack and take down multiple SCVs. Marines are going to perhaps take down these mutilists. No, the Marines do spot them and the mutilists are in a little bit of a trouble. Are they going to be able to get away? Yes, they do have faster movement speed as the Zerklings and the Banelings continue to move around. Mutilists now coming in around the left side here. We can see that the Banelings and the Zerklings still waiting to do a, a, a little bit of a perhaps a two-prong attack both sides sitting near uh, both sides are supply blocked 160 versus 161 and now need to get some additional overlords and supply depots as another command center now being established by Teja. he wants to make sure he does not fall behind in expansions marines and marauders no it's just marines and siege tanks now moving out a new bunker being established here one poor poor marine getting taken down as the Mutal is still flying around, the Zerglings are only upgraded 0-1 up um, against 2-2 two, two Marines. And that may be the difference as the Marines with 2-2 two, two upgrades are going to be able to eat through many of these units here. Level 1 vehicle weapons upgrade now being completed as we are now starting 3-3. Three, three, and 3-3 three, three is being started before 1-1 one, um, one, one is completed. Drones now being added again. Marines looking to do a little bit of scouting here. Zerglings now going to come in, surround, take this all out. The Terran player has a very large bank right now of about 1,200 resources. He is near supply block and should be attacking sometime around the 16 minute mark. Marines now filing down over here. The Marines are upgraded 2-2. Siege tanks will be upgraded 1-0 momentarily, being able to one-shot those Zerglings and those Banelings. Back over here, we are getting some spine crawlers and now a little bit of a dance back and forth still as the Mutalists and the Zerglings looking for their time to attack. We are going in the Hive Tech infestation pit and pathogen glands need to be added in order to stop this Marine and also perhaps get some banning hits as the Terran player now opting to take the center gold mineral expansions and perhaps set up a planetary fortress there. Zergling is now going to perhaps try to do a bit of a swarm here and it looks like they will be able to catch some of those units. No, we are going to see another large attack off over here. The Marines very, very much clumped together. We can see that there are mutilists off over here. Marines are trying to make their way in. Spying Crawler is going to be joining in on the fight. Siege tanks coming in as the Zerglings are now going to perhaps attack the front door. There is pretty much a wide, wide open array in both of these armies. And the natural expansion versus the third base off over here. Planetary Fortress not being upgraded as the Zerglings taking down multiple SEVs at the natural expan or at the third base. Marines going to take down this hatchery off over here. Siege tanks now trying to clean up all of these creep tumors, making sure that the Zerglings do not get any more movement speed. A Planetary Fortress now finally being upgraded as the Marines finally make their way over and clean up this third base here. Both sides taking a very, very hard hit to their economy as the Infestors unable to really stop all of these siege tanks here before it was a primarily marine army but now with thors and siege tanks this will be very difficult to stop as we now see infestors banings and zerlings making another move planetary fortress is near completion it will get completed in time as the infestor is now trying to make their way in there are a lot of siege tanks on the low ground just shelling their way through many of these units and now symbol is behind by about 25 supply marines trying to gather themselves together the marines are um 2-2 two, two, soon to be 3-3 three, three. crackling upgrade ultralist coming in as well no time for a greater spire as it does take much much longer as now here we go fungal growth hitting across multiple units marines and marauder siege or marines and siege tanks and a thor trying to push their way through another hatchery is cancelled as we now see that um the terran player is a does have a slight advantage here as the siege tanks are going for the jugular trying to deal a devastating blow as the zerglings are now trying to make their way in the zerglings hitting up some of these siege tanks here the infestors are getting focused down by those siege tanks nicely done as the mutilists are now all simply in retreat symbol now down 70 supply as the marines are going to be able to finish this off and there's the gg as symbol loses this game here on metalopolis thanks for watching Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed these games here on or, or, or these three games. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.